Okay, so you know that we have spent some time working on close reading informational texts, and last year you spent time close reading shorter stories, and then we branched into novels. We're going to skip the short stories this year because you've done that, and we're going to go right into close reading a novel. You are still working on your speeches, I'm going to talk more about that in a second. So, going back to the bell ringer, the difference between close reading short pieces and close reading a novel. So, you're going to take a few notes as we decide what are our steps for close reading a novel. So, here I have the five steps for close reading short pieces, and we're going to decide which continue over into close reading a novel. So, Wyatt, what is the first step up there for close reading short pieces? Number the paragraphs and sections. Number the paragraphs and sections. So, do we do that when we're reading a no. novel? Raise your no. hand if you have a thought on that. Drake. No. Why not? Because it's a lot. Right, because if we were to number all of the paragraphs in a novel, or even, you know, every chunk that you did, you'd end up with, you know, 700 numbers out there. And then everyone's would be different, so it, we don't have the purpose in a longer piece that we do in a, in a shorter piece. What is the second thing? Logan. Chunk the text. Are we going to do that in a novel? Raise your hand if you have a thought. Yeah. Michael. You could do it after like every chapter. I agree. You are still, so this is something you need to write down, you are still going to chunk the text. Now, Michael suggested chapters. That's one idea, but it kind of depends on the length of the chapters. If you have a chapter of 48 pages, that's a bit much. So you need to go into it you personally need to decide how are you going to chunk. You can start by looking at the chapters, and if that seems reasonable, go with chapters. But it may also behoove you to think about page numbers, but have some flexibility in that. So you have to personally decide. Are you going to chunk by number of pages? Are you going to go by chapters? Don't just decide right now. You have to wait and look at the actual novel that you're reading. In this case, it's the novel I'll give you. In future cases, it will you decide how are you going to chunk, but you do need to chunk. Because remember, the purpose behind chunking is what? Why do we chunk a text? So it gives you a little bit to stop and analyze. And then again, if you decide to go back and reread, you're not rereading the entire section. So we are going to chunk. What's step three on close reading short pieces? Levi. Underlining important words and phrases. Underlining or highlighting important information and taking notes using metacognitive markers. So in a novel, are we going to underline important information and take notes? Nope. No. Raise your hand if you have a thought. Quiet. No. You're not going to underline or highlight in the book, Garrett. Sticky notes. We're going, we are still going to, I might say, take note. <laughs> of important information and take notes on paper. So last year we talked about maybe using sticky notes for this. The thing I like about sticky notes is it marks the spot in the book. So you might have a sticky note and just an asterisk that says what the big idea is. So you might still use those metacognitive markers. The asterisk, the exclamation mark, the single question mark, the double question mark, but then instead of writing in the margin, because it's a book you have to give back to me, you might then transfer over onto a piece of paper in your notebook where you keep the notes. So you have an asterisk and then you go over, you know, in, in your notebook you write page 27 and then that's where you actually take your sentence or two of notes. So we are still doing this, we're just doing it in a different way because you can't write on the piece. What is step four currently? Eric? Reread when applicable. Are we going to do that in a novel? Logan. Yeah. Absolutely. And we'll still reread, but notice the important words when applicable. And again, you're high schoolers, so you decide now when is it important for you to close read. Like Garrett said, that's part of the reason we chunk, so that if we have to go back and reread, we're not rereading an entire chapter or an entire book. You're rereading the chunk that you were confused about, the chunk that had a lot of ideas in it. So you decide when is it necessary for you personally to reread. And then the last step on close reading short pieces is writing an objective summary. Are we going to do that, Ross? Yes. Yes. I do change it slightly. 
I say summary when we, turn, when we talk about informative. In terms of literature, like the novel that you're going to read, I would say write a final analysis with textual evidence. The difference between a summary and an analysis is that a summary is, here's the facts of this informative piece. An analysis is, here are my final thoughts about this section. So it is still objective in the sense that we don't use unnecessary personal pronouns. We don't say, I think this chunk was about. But it is your analysis, your interpretation of what that section was about. Write your final analysis at the end of each chunk. Now, depending on the length of the chunk, depends on the length of your analysis. If your chunk is five pages, it's probably going to be a sentence or two. If your chunk is 40 pages, then it would probably be more like a page. So let's reiterate the four steps we have for close reading a novel. Casey, would you read?